Today's Thursday, August 21st, and you're watching GameSpot News. I'm Chris Waters, and today's show is ripe with things that people love to argue about on the internet, namely Call of Duty, game resolutions, and whether or not the moon landing was real. Let's get that last one out of the way first. It was, and on with the show. Have you ever found yourself thinking, oh man, another Call of GD Duty, great, gonna be the same as last year, I'm gonna hate it again, why don't they ever innovate with this series, the same stuff every year? Well, Sledgehammer Games has heard you. We had heard loud and clear from fans that they wanted change, they wanted innovation, that we needed to bring something new to Call of Duty, said Sledgehammer Games co-founder Michael Condry. That change is taking the form of the exosuit, which grants the player special powers and movement abilities. And to those who say exosuits aren't that innovative, Condry explains, You think about it now, it's films like Elysium and Edge of Tomorrow and Oblivion. You see it all over the news of military adopting it and healthcare. So everyone's talking about the exo. But three years ago, it was a big step. Having played a few hours of Advanced Warfare multiplayer myself, I can say that it honestly feels like a significant change to the COD formula, but who knows how it'll hold up after dozens of hours of play. I'm almost afraid to ask you what you think about it, but who are we kidding? You're gonna tell me anyways, and that's what I love about you. A recent report cited a Witcher 3 developer saying that the game may not run in 1080p on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So what does CD Projekt Red have to say about that? We are working hard on optimizing the game and nothing is set in stone, explained marketing manager Tomas Tink. Our engine team remains optimistic and we will surely squeeze the most we can out of each console. I know you might be expecting concrete info like the final frame rate and resolution, but it's simply impossible to give you that sort of thing before the optimization process is complete. You heard the man, impossible. Ah well, guess the platform debates and P battles will have to wait until next year. Want to get in on the future of gaming and make some of that crazy Facebook money? The social network giant and Oculus Rift owner has put a bounty on bugs. Adding Oculus to their existing white hat program means that reporting a bug with the Rift could earn you a reward based on severity and creativity. The minimum reward is $500 and there is no maximum payout. GameSpot's own Jeremy Jane recently posted an intriguing video about Elite Dangerous and the latest version of the Oculus Rift. He really enjoyed the in-cockpit immersion but had some complaints when it came to the overall user experience, as you can see in these clips. Personally, I don't see a problem. This game is tight. Lastly, there's a new Star Wars game called Star Wars Commander that came out today on iOS and is scheduled to release on Android in a few weeks. It's a free-to-play combat strategy game set during the Galactic Civil War of Episodes 4 through 6. Apparently it's a lot like Clash of Clans, but the developer says it's significantly different, and there's also a bunch of story stuff in there too, if you're into that. Read all about it on GameSpot.com news if you're interested. I'll be back tomorrow for the top five stories of the week, but for now, I'm off to space!